What's up guys, TG back with another video, and today I just want to talk about the main problems with the Dexter Newblood finale, because I think we can all agree that it was awful. I've already said this, but I don't have a problem with the concept of Dexter dying, or Harrison being the one to do it, but it was so rushed and done so poorly, and that's the problem that everyone has with it. First of all, there was no reason at all for Dexter to kill Logan and escape, because there was no concrete evidence on him that would have led to a conviction. When it came to Matt, Dexter knew that. Dexter knew the evidence was all circumstantial, and a jury or prosecutor could see the holes in the case. I mean, they found the gas truck at Kurt's house. The theory of Kurt setting Dexter up made too much sense to convict Dexter. But the same thing goes for the Bay Harbor Butcher killings. Once that and Angel were brought up, that's when Dexter decided he needed to escape. But Dexter is smart, and he should have easily known that the case would not have stuck either. Even if a prosecutor was willing to press the charges, Dexter would have gotten off with a decent lawyer. Sure, having to see Angel again would have been awkward, and there would have been some explaining to do. But as Dexter said before, faking your death isn't a crime. The evidence that connects him to the Bay Harbor Butcher is once again all circumstantial. And speaking of, all of the evidence that just fell into Angela's lap made no sense and is still a huge plot hole. Dexter never used ketamine in Miami, and she told Dexter during the interrogation that it was the same drug. And I don't think that was Angela lying, I think it was straight up a plot hole, and a huge one. I mean, her finding out Jim was actually Dexter was even a stretch. I know Audrey told her that Jim wasn't his real name, but it should not have taken that little time for her to find Dexter. Even with meeting Angel, it was just too unrealistic. And of course her searching Miami ketamine and finding the Bay Harbor Butcher just doesn't make sense either. Once again, because he didn't use ketamine. So Angela finding out about Dexter was such bad writing and Dexter deciding to break out was as well. Because there was no solid evidence and a character like Dexter should know that. Now let's talk about him killing Logan, because that goes against the character that we have known for years. Yes, he has killed somewhat innocent people in the past, but no one as pure and innocent as Logan. And obviously, there's no getting out of that one. There's a 100% chance that you did it. Dexter would not kill a completely innocent person, especially knowing that there's no escaping that kill and pinning it on someone else or hiding it. And now, moving on to the actual death of Dexter at Harrison's hands. Even though there is something mentally wrong with Harrison, the sudden turn against his father was way too fast to make sense. Last episode, he was ready to learn about the code process and thought highly of his father for saving innocent lives by taking out the people like Kurt. And even in the beginning of this episode, he was happy to continue that life in LA and wanted his dad to get out of jail. And within one scene, he went from being ready to run away with him to killing him. Now, yes, it is understandable that Harrison would be mad at Dexter for killing Logan. He was a purely innocent guy that was his wrestling coach and someone he looked up to. But it still would not lead to him killing Dexter that fast. It would take more than that, even for someone as unstable as Harrison. Another problem was this whole season, Dexter talked about how he was ready to be a father and how he would never leave Harrison again. And he just tried to straight up leave him in this scene. I get that jail is the one place Dexter never wanted to end up, but him giving up and trying to leave kind of erased everything that he was about this season. And then, after Harrison killed Dexter, how the hell did Angela just show up? There was no clues left at the station that would allow Angela to realize that's where Dexter was going. I really did enjoy the first nine episodes of this show, with the exception of the ketamine plot hole and Angela just putting everything together way too fast. But I still found a way to put that stuff aside and enjoy it, but episode 10 really invalidates a lot of what was good about the first 9 episodes. It would be hard to go back and enjoy those 9 episodes knowing what it leads up to. It's just Harrison coming to Iron Lake, possessing some of the dark traits that Dexter had, fixing it by killing him and then leaving. And even him leaving didn't make sense because Angela told him to go and never come back as if she was about to report him, but then she just took the blame. So it's not like there's a warrant out for his arrest or anything, I mean, it would technically make more sense for him to just stay. But that one can somewhat make sense, I guess. You can understand Angela wanting him to leave Iron Lake and not come back. But overall, the script was sloppy and rushed. It was a fine concept that was rushed and left with way too many plot holes. If they took their time with it, and maybe had this happen over a two-season course, or at least a few more episodes, it could have worked. You would need Angela's discovery to make more sense and happen more slowly, and you would need Harrison's turn against Dexter to be more gradual. But he went from hating Dexter to loving him to hating him and killing him within such a short period of time. 
It was so rushed, it didn't make sense, so it ruined it. It doesn't matter how good the concept of something is if it isn't done right, and that's exactly what happened. And because of how fast the ending was, I kind of don't like how lightly Kurt's bunker and story were glossed over. It seemed like it could have played a bigger role in the finale, but it was kind of just there for Dexter to get Angela away for his escape. I know the side plots obviously are not as important, but they were kind of just left unfinished to rush to the main story's end. Overall, even if you think this is better than the season 8 ending, it does not come close to redeeming it. It's still sloppy and bad, and this time it can't be fixed or undone for obvious reasons. They had a really good chance to fix their mistake of that terrible season 8 ending, and they completely botched it. And I had high hopes since it was Clyde Phillips back in charge, since he was in charge of the best seasons of the original show. But this was Dexter's official end, and unfortunately a disappointing one. Thanks for watching this video going over the problem with the ending. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and let me know what you thought of this new ending down below in the comments.